Well, it's very likely uh, in the U.S. You would think of New York, Chicago, uh, uh, major cities in the U.S., San Diego, San Francisco. So, yeah, it's likely that if you've ridden a, a, a metro or a train, you've ridden on a Bombardier product, worldwide, in fact. Well, that would be very hard because most customers have their own specifications. So the Metro we make uh, in New York has nothing in similar with the one we make in, in London. Uh, they're both in stainless steel, but uh, they're very different products. So uh, every city has their specification. Every train has their own specification. We have a very broad product portfolio. We do from signaling on the track to keep the traffic control on the tracks if you want all the way to electric locomotives but in between there's monorail there's airport people mover there's trams there's metro so many different products it is i would compare it to the construction business you have a lot of high rise and when you know how to build a high rise you you know you're a company that understands what to do but every high rise is customized in a, in, in a significant way. But the basic principles uh, apply. It's the same thing with a, with a train. Uh, the wheel set under the train, what we call boogies or truck in America, uh, these tend to be similar. You can standardize their pro the propulsion system. So the electrical engines that we use and the systems, those can be standardized. So although the train is different uh, in its look and its weight and its material that we use, some of the systems are standard. Well, there's a few areas of, uh, I think, exciting development in the industry. The High-speed train. Uh, you know, they were common if you want in Japan and maybe France, but now we're seeing them appear everywhere in the world. Uh, and, and these really give a really good traveling experience. We're developing a train right now in China that in fact is in tests and we'll start de delivering at the end of 13 that goes 380 kilometers an hour and it can do that 10 hours uh, non-stop so that I think that's very exciting from a technology perspective but also from a, a, a passenger comfort. 